Welcome back to Tech Radar. I'm staff writer Olivia Tambini. And I'm Tech Radar's video producer Matt Phillips. And because of the roaring success of our best Bluetooth speakers video a couple of weeks ago, if you haven't checked it out, click on the card or link in the description. Um, we decided we'd come on and do best wireless earbuds, and Livia knows all about them as well. So the dynamic duo are back on camera. I love it. I love it. Hey, um, hey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you haven't seen that previous video, please do go check it out and subscribe and like the video. If you like these sorts of videos, we'll make much more of these kind of buying advice videos. We enjoy doing them. Um, a thing to mention as well, all of our links in the description, there are links to full reviews of each of these products as well as links to go buy these products and they use our special hawk links that automatically update to find you the best deal um we do earn affiliate commission off those links so that's something to bear in mind but we of course at tech radar are supported by you our audience and we very much appreciate that and i think that's all of the housekeeping i had to do so without further ado let's head to our number five what tech radar considers the fifth best possible true wireless ebuds you can buy right now again i'm going to struggle with all the names today so we're kicking <laughs> off number five. Let's go with Klipsch T5 yep, True Wireless. Yeah, you reckon? Wow. Yeah, very, I'm, very good. I'm proud of myself. So why do these deserve to be at our number five spot then? Um, well, the Klipsch T5, although they're fairly expensive, mm. um, they're pretty eye-catching. So they come in this really cool charging case, which looks a little bit like if you've ever seen a Zippo lighter. So it's a little metal box and it flips up at the top. So that's really cool. They also sound really, really good, which is obviously the main thing we're looking for from a pair of earbuds. Yeah. They've got pretty good battery life. Um, you get eight hours per charge um, in the buds themselves, and then you get an additional 24 hours from the charging case as well. So yeah, some good all-rounders. Yeah, and you mentioned it in there, you know, they're £149 currently. Obviously, by the time you're watching this, that could be different. Um, but that, that sort of puts them in a similar price range, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, to the Apple AirPods Pro? Is that right? Or are they more um, expensive? They're a bit cheaper than the AirPods Pro, actually. Okay. So the AirPods Pro, um, well, when they launched, they cost um, $250, mm -hmm. uh, £250. Right. Um, so they are a bit cheaper. Um, but that's because the Clips T5 are a little bit older now. Mm -hmm. um, they've actually just released a new version of the T5. So the T5 II and the T5 II Sport, I believe. Um, so that's why the price is a little bit lower than it was at launch. Fair enough, fair enough. And it's worth mentioning, I did mention at the top, of, obviously the list on techradar.com is much, much longer. There are no AirPods in this top five. Uh, AirPods Pro came in at number six. So if you're expecting to see that in here, you won't, unfortunately, but please do go to the Sorry. full list and check it out if you're interested <laughs> in those. I know a lot of people will be. Um, but then let's move on then to number four. Again, another name, Lip Lipotech Tevi. Let's go with that. Well, I always pronounce it. I always pronounce it Leapertech in my head. Leapertech sounds again, better. Let's go with Leapertech. Either, either could be right. <laughs> yeah. So these were a bit of a surprise for us because it was from a brand we hadn't heard of before. Mm. They're pretty inexpensive as well, so we weren't really expecting much. But when we tried them, we found that the sound quality was really, really good for the price. Um, they also have a really fantastic battery life. Um, which I'll just double check now. I, I've got it in my notes here. It says battery life on board 10 hours, battery life in the charging case 70 hours, which is far and away more than anything else on this list. So I guess that's the yeah. main selling point for these, right? Yeah, it's insane. So if you're someone who um, wants a pair of true wireless earbuds to use on your commute and you want to like not have to you know, keep charging them up throughout the week, um, these are a really good pair to go for and I actually have some at home um, which I use regularly So these are the ones that I use the most Fantastic stuff fantastic stuff and like you mentioned then they're 99 pounds So they're at the cheaper end of this scale and the audio quality you consider to be I mean if you use them every day I suppose you would consider them to be up there with the best. Yeah, definitely. They've got a really good um, bass response as well So if you like your music bassy then definitely give these a look Fantastic stuff. So a bit of a hidden gem there, like you say, a brand that maybe not many people will know about, but definitely worth checking out if they suit your Absolutely. needs. And that brings us on then to number three, the Cambridge Audio Melomania One. Yeah. <laughs> again, again, a device I haven't heard of before. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about these, why they deserve to be in the number three spot. Yeah. So again, another crazy name, um, <laughs> but these are definitely one of the best true wireless earbuds you can buy right now. Um, so Cambridge Audio is kind of a heritage British audio uh, company. Yeah. And this is their first pair of true wireless earbuds, which came out last year, I think. Mm -hmm. 
and um, again, they're quite cheap, um, a lot cheaper than even the original AirPods. Yeah. Um, so I think they come in at about £100. Yep. These are the ones to opt for if you're looking for audiophile sound quality. Right. So the sound quality on offer here will um, maybe not match the best over-ear headphones, but it gets pretty close. Mm. The only trade-off is that they don't have um, a lot of the smart features you might expect from a modern pair of earbuds. So you won't get noise cancelling, for example. But if you're just about sound quality, these ones are the ones to go for. Fair enough, fair enough. And that's, you know, surprising. Like you say, they're, they're under that £100 mark. So a lot of these earbuds are actually coming in cheaper than I was expecting them to. Um, but yeah. that does, in contrast, bring us on to our number two slot, which is yeah. not in that cheaper price bracket. The Sennheiser no. Momentum <laughs> True Wireless 2 earbuds are £279 currently. So obviously yeah. much higher on the, ex on the uh, expenditure. But... Sennheiser, obviously, a, an audio brand that a lot of people will know and love and sort of stand by, loyal to. Um, so, yeah, what puts these guys at the at the number two spot? So, these are a really feature-rich pair of True Wireless earbuds. Um, so, they have that really great sound that you'd expect from a pair of Sennheiser headphones. They also have support for high-res audio. So, if you're someone, um, for example, you use Tidal mm -hmm. or um, Amazon Music HD, you want your music tracks to be really lossless, really great, crisp quality, then these earbuds will support that. They also look pretty cool. So they've got um, a metallic housing on the outside, so they're a little bit flashy in your ears. Um, I did find them a little bit uncomfortable just because okay. I've got smaller ears. So if you have smaller ears, just bear that in mind. But for everyone else, um, from what I've heard, they're very, very comfortable to wear. Fair enough, fair enough. And you know, I'm just looking at the notes here now. Seven hours of battery life on board, 28 hours in the charging case, which again is, is a bit more than we've seen from some of the other brands. So yeah. w again, worth considering, not not the 70 hours of the, um, I can't even remember their name already. What was it? Leapertech Tevi. <laughs> Thank you. Not the 70 hours of the Leapertech, but, um, but definitely up there when it comes to that. And obviously, like you say, Sennheiser are a very well-known brand, very established brand in the market. And then finally, God, just the list of terrible names today. The Sony <laughs> WF-1000XM3 True Wireless Earbuds. What a nightmare yeah. of a naming convention. But they are the <laughs> earbuds that are number one spot. Uh, so why do these deserve to be, I guess, at the top of the chain? So in terms of a combination of audio quality, great noise cancellation, and a good design. These are the all-rounders, which mm -hmm. we found are the best True Wireless earbuds overall. The noise cancellation on offer here is the best we've heard from a pair of True Wireless earbuds, right. which is pretty difficult because they don't have the same physical ear cups to block sure. out environmental sound that a pair of over-ears do. Um, so that's one thing that uh, really works in their favour. The other thing is that they just sound fantastic. Um, they've got a really well-balanced sound, powerful bass, crisp trebles, um, pretty much everything you want from a pair of earbuds. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, again, the Sony WF series of earbuds are, are pretty well known at this point and they sort of keep iterating on them, keep, us, keep improving them as they go. Is there any sort of word in the pipeline of when new ones might be coming or, or how old are these ones, I guess? Are we expecting new ones? So these ones are, um, they've just uh, turned one year old. Right. Um, so it's not entirely impossible that new ones could be coming soon, mm -hmm. but we haven't heard rumours yet. What we do know, well, we don't know, we know rumours about um, the new Sony WH-1000XM3. Right. So they're the brand's over-ear headphones and they're rated our best ever headphones of 2020. Okay. And we're expecting to see those hopefully in August, but we'll find out. Exciting stuff. And maybe then it's worth touching before we close out on uh, sort of over-ear versus earbud headphones, right? And, and like, for your average consumer, what is the difference and, and who is each one for, I guess? Okay, so um, the biggest difference um, that you'll notice is the design. So obviously over-ear headphones, as you can tell, they've got ear cups that go over your ears and they've got um, a headband that connects them. Mm -hmm. They could be wireless or they can um, have a wired connection as well. True wireless earbuds, they use an earbud form factor which goes into your ears. Um, and these have no wire whatsoever. So there's nothing to connect them to your phone or um, each earbud to each other. Um, each one has different strengths. So obviously, uh, true wireless earbuds, um, they're really compact. So they're suitable for things like working out if they've got a good IPX 
waterproof rating. Um, they're convenient to carry around. You can charge them on the go. Don't have to get tangled up in cables. Um, but one uh, trade-off is that um, you may find that the sound quality isn't quite as... Um, it's not as impressive, maybe, as a pair of the best over-ear headphones. And that's just because um, the drivers are a lot smaller, so you might find that the sound is a little bit less powerful, the sound stage feels a bit less wide. But really, um, true wireless earbuds are improving all the time to the point where a lot of them do measure up and in fact surpass a lot of the best over-ear headphones anyway in terms of sound quality so it's really about what form factor you want and what you're going to use them for yeah exactly and then you know you mentioned it earlier there's this sort of convenience factor with true wireless earbuds you know they're, they're tiny right so you can slip them into a pocket i carry my earpods around with me all the time because they're so small i can slip them, slip them into my pocket over your headphones you just can't do that um but if exactly. you're looking for that proper audio quality the best you can get on the go Overy is probably the way to go. If you're interested in us doing a video just like this one, but on our favorite over ear headphones, let us know in the comments because we'd be more than happy to do that for you. Um, and I guess that's it. That's all that's left for me to say is thanks for joining me, Liv. Um, I really appreciate it. Just to reiterate, there is a much longer list of these uh, wireless earbuds on techradar.com. So please do go there, check that out. There are also reviews for all of these products, full reviews. Um, and like I said, buying links in the descriptions that are worth checking out to see what the best deal you can pick up on them is right now. Uh, thanks for joining me, Liv. Again, please do uh, like and subscribe and head over to techradar.com for the latest tech news and reviews.